Hey, what's going on guys? Aaron here from the Cracking Crypto team. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys just a little bit briefly about where to buy Bitcoin. Um, there's been some, some confusion, I'm sure, to a lot of the people getting into crypto as to the best place to buy Bitcoin and, and other cryptocurrencies for that matter. So for starters, I just want to point out there's a difference between a wallet and exchange and, and a brokerage, basically. Uh, so let's get started. The first place, the, the most common place uh, to buy Bitcoin in the U.S. right now is Coinbase. Um, I have an account with Coinbase myself. You click sign up. We'll have a, a referral link um, in the description so that you can use our referral link. If you deposit 100 bucks, you get $10 for free. Um, you just go ahead, create an account. They have an app. It hooks up to your bank account, or you can purchase via debit card. Pretty simple. Um, definitely has its its pros and cons, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, I just want to go over briefly all of the other ones that I'm aware of anyways. Kraken is another one um, that I've uh, heard people use. Um, I don't currently use Kraken. Um, Gemini is one that I'm actually interested in setting up for myself today. Um, apparently I've heard anyways, the scuttle is that they're pretty fast. Um, the next one would be localbitcoins.com. Um, again, has its pros and cons, but you can buy directly from sellers. This is sort of like the Craigslist for Bitcoin. And last but not least, Bitcoin ATMs. Um, and there's coinatmradar.com. You go in, you type in, let's see, uh, Chicago, Illinois, United States, or whatever city you're in. It brings me into Chicago and shows me where there's some ATMs. Um, now, it is important to note that on some of these, like right here, this is a buy only ATM, which means you can only purchase. Bitcoin at this ATM. Some of the ATMs you can actually withdraw Bitcoin. Um, so let's quick go over some of the pros and cons. Uh, first of all, with the, the coin ATMs, um, first of all, one con is that you can only buy at certain ATMs. Uh, the other con is that the exchange rate is actually really high. You pay a pretty um, high premium to buy on these ATMs. Uh, however, they're really convenient, and they will deposit the coin directly to whichever wallet you want them to. So that is one place to get it. The next, local Bitcoins, I'd say the biggest kind about local Bitcoins is that, number one, the exchange rate is kind of outrageous. They charge a lot for, for Bitcoin. And the other problem is it's kind of like eBay. Some of these sellers are not very reputable. So you definitely have to pay attention to who you're buying and selling to. The one, the one plus is I can sell my Bitcoin directly to people without paying as big of exchange fees um, and sell directly to people all over the world. So there, there is some uh, utility to this. And it actually is available in a lot of places uh, where it's hard to get Bitcoin. For example, Venezuela. It's very difficult to get Bitcoin in Venezuela. So they're pretty limited to using things like localbitcoins.com. Gemini, from what I hear, is pretty solid. Um, we're going to find out here today, and I'll probably put up some sort of video about Gemini once that's uh, set up in my name and, and so on and so forth. But most of these are really simple to set up. You go in, you register, you build your account, you add your, your payment methods, uh, and you start using it immediately not real familiar with Kraken um, I don't have experience with it I did hear that because of the recent influx of people joining the uh, Bitcoin movement that Kraken has been overwhelmed with new applications and is very hard uh, to get set up on and it's really slow and actually now that I look at it it says the service is under heavy load and performance is de uh, degraded upgrades coming soon so I'll probably hold off on Kraken for right now Eventually, I'll probably be set up on there as well. And then Coinbase, which 
is currently under a little bit of uh, scrutiny. They actually had a couple employees that are being investigated. Um, has to do with the Bitcoin Cash when they released that on their website and their app. Um, the thing is, they're really convenient. Uh, the fees are a little bit high, but they're very easy to use. They're relatively quick. Um, and like most of these sites, they've had issues because of the insane influx of new users. Really, no one expected Bitcoin to catch on this fast. So it, it, it makes it difficult. But these are the, the basic places to buy Bitcoin. Um, you know, I, I use Coinbase right now, like I said, and I'll be switching over to Gemini as quickly as possible. I definitely don't suggest keeping your money on Coinbase. And that's where we differentiate the broker, the person who actually physically sells you coin from the place that you hold your coin. Every brokerage, every place that you can actually buy coin for the US dollar, I can take US dollar, put it in my bank and go on Coinbase and buy Bitcoin. Um, every place has a wallet, right? Coinbase has a Bitcoin wallet that I use. Right? It gives me a place to store it once I've purchased it. The problem is Coinbase can be hacked. They are not impenetrable. They are not immune to DDoS attacks. And unfortunately, as long as your coin is on the Coinbase wallet online, it is susceptible to potential attacks. For example, the, the really famous example is Mt. Gox. And what happened with Mt. Gox was essentially they got hacked, a lot of coin went missing, and the people that had their money on those accounts were out the money for quite a long time. Um, that was made right eventually, but you know it was, it was, there was a lot of uh, screwy activity that, that was involved there. You know, so keeping your money on these um, exchanges are definitely not recommended for anything you're going to be using long term. And if I keep my money in an exchange, it's one of the more reputable ones like Bittrex um, and Binance, which I'll do a separate video on, on exchanges here shortly. But the, the main thing I want everyone to get from this is these are the places to buy your coin from. And I generally don't keep my coin on the website wallet that I bought it from. If I buy Bitcoin or Litecoin or Ether or Bitcoin Cash on Gemini or Coinbase or any of them, I will not be keeping my money on that wallet. I will transfer it either to one of the major exchanges that I use to actually actively trade my Bitcoin or I'll put it into cold storage and I'll do a separate video on cold storage wallets as well coming up. Um, but for right now guys, I mean Coinbase and Gemini seem to be the places to go and like I said we'll have some links in the bottom for all these websites. Happy trading guys.